Hi, I'm Ben Supnik. I'm one of the X-Plane developers, and in this video, I'm going to explain X-Plane 10's new dynamic exposure feature. I'm going to explain what dynamic exposure is and how it changes how your scenery looks, and how you can take advantage of it if you're making a custom airplane. Uh, so before we begin, uh, let's just make sure we're using the same terminology. What we have here are two textures from the Seattle Custom Demo area that Tom Kyler made for us. This texture you see here is the daytime texture. Uh, if you want to be a fancy graphics nerd, you can call it the albedo texture. And this is what all our buildings look like during the day. If you had full sunlight on them and no shadows, this is what you see. And it's a big texture map with all of these buildings packed into a small space. This second texture here is the lit texture or you can call it the emissive texture, if you want to be a graphics nerd. And this is just the light that the buildings themselves create in the dark. So if there's no spill, there's no airplane landing light, and the sun sets, this light still shows up. There's some light coming out of the windows, off of one of the monitors. So what you can see is daytime, nighttime. So let's take a look at this in the sim. Dynamic exposure solves a problem of making your night textures look good at all times of day. So here we are at Seattle, and let's take a look at a building with both a day and a night texture. As we turn the time of day from day to night, the windows light up. These blue lit windows are part of the lit texture that's showing up. Now, at night, it's very simple. The daytime texture is almost black, and the lit texture is what you see. During the day, life is also very simple. The lit texture is gone, and you see the day texture. But what about at dusk? When we get to the in-between in times of day, you see some of the day texture, because the sun is still partly up, and you see some of the windows. Now here's where dynamic exposure comes in. In real life, the sun is much, much brighter than any man-made light. So in real life, a light that's on inside an office building lighting up the window will barely make any light when you look at it during the day, because your eyes have adjusted to the sun. But at night, when your eyes are adjusted for night seeing, that light looks quite bright. So in real life, your eyes are adjusting. X-Plane simulates this by making your lit texture dimmer when it is brighter out. So, when it's night, you see these windows at full brightness. And then, as the sun comes out, the brightness of the windows decreases so that they never look overexposed. Now, to give you an idea of why this is important, let me show you what it would look like if we did not have this feature. Boom. Now you're seeing the lit texture at its full brightness even during the day. And look how bright those windows are. In real life, would you ever see that much light out of a window? when the sun is this high? No, you wouldn't. So dynamic exposure is a feature where we make your lit textures dimmer to keep the relative balance of the scene correct through the day and the night. Uh, dynamic exposure is automatic for scenery. It just happens. And 99.99% .99 of the time, uh, dynamic exposure is what you want for your scenery, and it's going to make things look better. Dynam dynamic exposure lets you use bright, beautiful lit textures and not worry about them looking overdone during the day because X-Plane slowly turns them up as we turn to night. Now, for airplanes, the situation is a little bit different. For airplanes, dynamic exposure is opt-in. So what I have here is the Piaggio P180 with the exterior redone by Javier Roland. And what you can see is that he has this red light from the beacons reflecting on the airplane. And this was actually done with lit textures. Everything you're seeing, HDR mode is off. So these are, these are features that are in the sim all the time. And the light you see was created by Javier by uh, baking the light into the lit texture. So it's flashing, that's nice. Now here's the problem. When we go to the day, the red light is still very, very bright. And in fact, if we pause it and we turn off dynamic exposure, you'll see that there's no change to the red lighting on the airplane. Now, if you look at the beacon strobe carefully, or let me do this, let me get the building in the scene at the same time. There we go. Dynamic exposure off. All of those buildings get brighter. Dynamic exposure on. And yet the red lighting 
on the airplane is not changing. It's always bright no matter what, and as a result, uh, the airplane looks a little bit funny during the day because it's bright sun out, and yet this big red light overexposes the airplane. This is not good. This is not what we want. So let me show you how you fix this in Plane Maker. In Plane Maker, you opt in to dynamic exposure by setting a property on your objects. You go to your MISC Objects tab, and there's a new checkbox for each object called Dim Lit. When Dim Lit is checked, your object's lighting is subject to dynamic exposure. This defaults to off for your existing planes, but if you turn it on, then your lit texture will get dimmer during the day. So let's save this airplane. We're going to go back to X-Plane and reload the Piaggio and see what it looks like. Here we go. And we're back. Here's the Piaggio. Uh, frame rate's a little bit slow since I'm making a video. Now it's pretty different. During the day, the red light is pretty dim. When we go to the night, it gets bright again, just like the building. And in fact, if we turn off dynamic exposure, boom, all that extra light, that's what we were seeing before. And when we turn dynamic exposure on, it gets dimmer. I strongly recommend dynamic exposure for most of your airplane, including any artificial light sources. There are a few cases where you might not want dynamic exposure. Uh, the main reasons I can think of are two. One is your lit level comes from a plugin, and the plugin has some fancy math to decide the lit texture. In that case, don't check dim lit, and X-Plane will draw exactly what you, what you say. The other case is when you have a light that really should be on all the time. Your gear indicator lights on your panel, those bulbs are very bright. You can see them even during the day. So for a few cases like lit textures on the panel, maybe you don't want dynamic lighting because you want the uh, light to be fully bright during the day so the pilot can see what he's doing. So it's up to you. You can turn dim lit on or off on a per object basis in Plane Maker. And when you turn it on, we will make your lit textures less bright during the day to avoid overexposure. All right, that is dynamic exposure and I will try to get some documentation on the data refs involved up on the uh, developer website so that if you're using uh, actual lit level you can see how to do this from a plugin. Uh, thanks for listening.